Hi, I am Milinor and in this video I want to show you my Apple Studio Patcher presets that will allow you to play with your MIDI keyboard and always be in the key. Okay, Apple Studio have a great feature for mapping keyboard layouts to set each key to a certain note. I made a video for that recently. As some producers wanted to have it for their midis, so I made some patcher presets for it. This method I am going to tell you is working on both MIDI keyboards and QRT keyboards. I made a WinRAR easy install for it to copy the presets to the proper location. You can also open the exe file and extract files manually. Accept, select your FL Studio folder and extract files. Let's go back to FL Studio. After you install the presets, you can open Patcher as instrument and you can see all the installed presets. Okay, this is a MIDI FX. MIDI FXs don't generate any sound. They will use MIDI notes or nothing as an input and can change or create another MIDI. You can add instruments inside the Patcher if you want. Or you can send the MIDI by a port to your VST. In these presets, I send the MIDI out to port 7. For example, I open the Serum. Here on the top left of the plugin, click on the gear icon and here, here you should set the input MIDI to port 7. Let's go back to the patcher. I select Blues Scale and change the root note to F. Now I can play all notes in that scale with the F root note. This works both on MIDI keyboard and QRT keyboards. You can change typing keyboard layout from piano layout to major C layout to play more than 4 octaves with your computer keyboard. Let's go back to our VST. The FL Studio plugins don't have this gear icon. So if you want to send them MIDI notes, you can add their VST version, or you can open them inside that patcher after the MIDI FXs, or you can open them inside another patcher and set the input MIDI to port 7. Just wanna say, there is no reason why you set it to port 7. Again, if you are only using your computer keyboard, using these typing keyboard layouts is easier. Remember, this MIDI FX changes the output MIDI. Right now I am making this video, I have FL Studio version 20.5. In the version 20.6, burn to MIDI feature will be added. Fortunately, it can export the MIDI out. There will be some more details in the download page. Thank you for watching this video. There's a download link in the description. There will be some other escapes in the near future.